God gives every bird food, but he will not throw it in their nest. You all have the ability to, to go out and chase whatever job, whatever career you want, but those, those, uh, that potential, those skills that you have, does not guarantee you success. It's whether or not you can implement those things. All right? It's not going to be given to you. There are a lot of people out there who want this really bad. The question is, do you want it more? Okay? All right. Can I do anything to be proactive in finding a job? And that's talking about right now. The question earlier, when can I start looking for a job? I'm going to challenge each one of you today that you can start the process right now. Okay? And now, let me, let me uh, throw a disclaimer on this deal. When it comes to interviewing and prospecting and resumes, everybody has an opinion of what you should have on there, what you shouldn't have on there. You can do this, don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do those three things, but you must do these five things. I'm probably going to say something that one of your mentors or one of your teachers or one of your uh, career services advisors from another place or one of your uh, business relationships tells you not to do. This has worked for me. It's worked for a number of different people. Uh, you don't have to take everything that I say, but if you learn one thing in this program that allows you to get a job that you wouldn't have otherwise got, then this program is going to be beneficial for you. So take what you will. This is my opinion, but like I said, it has had some success for me. All right, we're going to start with the action items. I want you to go home and make a list of 10, 15, 5, 20, 30, customer, 30 prospects as far as jobs, companies that you'd like to go work for. Okay? If you want to stay in DFW and you, are, you want to go into a marketing firm, find 5, 10, 15, 20 different marketing firms in DFW that you'd like to look into. Okay? You can Google them, you can think about, you know, I've got friends over here, I'd like to look at this company or this uh, area, maybe it's South Lake, maybe it's North Texas, uh, all the way up into Oklahoma, whatever it is. Uh, but make a list of 5, 10, 20, 30, however many companies. Go ahead and get that down on paper. And your first challenge is to identify the, uh, the decision maker. How do we do that? Pick up the phone and call the HR department. So this is what it would sound like. I would call, like, let's say we're talking to Coca-Cola and I want to go to work for Coca-Cola. I would call Coca-Cola and say, uh, I need to talk to your HR department. They pass me their HR. Uh, I'd talk to the first person they and say, listen, here's the deal. I'm graduating TCU in May. I'd love to look at coming to work for your company. Is there anyone I can talk to that handles the, uh, the decision making as far as hiring college graduates uh, when the time comes? Okay, you need to talk to Amy over here. I talked to Amy. I said, Amy, my name is Jason Jacobus. Very interested in coming to work for Coca-Cola when I graduate. I graduate in May. Is there anything I can be doing right now to give me a better opportunity to come work with y'all? Um, she'd say, well, you need to do these five things. Uh, I'd write those things down. I'd make sure I had them in my calendar to do. And I would also ask her another question. I'd say, I know you're a busy lady, Amy, but is there any time where I can stop by your facility and just introduce myself? Just give you a face to go with me. Uh, if you have 10 companies that you've called, if only five of them allow you to stop by and introduce yourself, those are five companies that are going to know your face and know your name versus the other 60 applications and resumes they have sitting on their desk when it comes time. You're going to be a person, they're going to be a name or a number. Okay? Develop a PR packet. This is not just a standard cover letter or uh, resume. This is actually coming together with a packet, and if you get an opportunity, I would go ahead and send it over to them, where I say, hey, I've got some information about myself, you might have mail it to your HR department. I mail it over, this, these would have more information about me as a person than just a standard resume and cover letter. What are your hobbies? What are your career aspirations? What do you hope to do? You're answering some of the questions they may ask you in the interview, but you're asking, you're answering those ahead of time. So I would develop a PR pack, and that would be in a nice folder. It would have your resume, your cover letter, and a little bit more about you, along with it if you've ever been, you know, state championship, you know, you state champion in this, or you've been successful in that, had this award, worked for these companies. It would just be a much deeper look into who you are. Now the reason this is beneficial at this stage is because they don't have a hundred other applications sitting on the desk. They can actually look through your packet. They're not going to do it when they have a hundred to look through. But if you go ahead of everybody else, if you start the process four months before anybody else ever starts it, they've got the time to look through these things. Okay? 
and a website. This is what I did. I'm not saying this is what you have to do. What I did, I went over to WordPress.com and I developed a website. It's free. You can create your own website. I put different pages on there and I put it on my, on my resume. Here's my website. And keep in mind that when they see what you're willing to do to get a job, they get an idea of what you're willing to do when you work for them. So if you're willing to go through all of this when everybody else is just, here's my universal resume, let me email it over to Monster or you know, Job Box, that kind of stuff, this is what differentiates you. This would have you know, any kind of uh, major achievements, it would also have my resume on it, picture, any other information. Uh, it's just one more differentiating factor. Let me ask you a question. Out of this room, how many people, prior to me saying this, would have had a website with their information on it when they went into the job market? Okay, that's maybe 10%, maybe. So now you 10% stand out from everybody else. Now what I'm gonna encourage you to do is if the rest of this room does this, you guys are gonna be 1% in the grand, you know, in the, in the entire landscape of your competitors. Not everybody's going to do that. It's going to take some time, but you will differentiate yourself. Follow up. All right? When they tell you you need to do A, B, and C, you need to do A, B, and C. You're going to ask them. In sales, you're asking a customer, how do I sell you? Tell me what you need to have to buy from me. This is, tell me what, you, what I need to do for you to hire me. And when they say you need to do A, B, and C, you need to do them. If you cannot follow up with what they've given you, then why would they think you follow up when you work with them? Okay? The other thing is, if they tell you this, these five things will give you a better opportunity to come work for us, and you do those five things, there's almost an obligation there to really give some strong consideration behind you. You've asked what to do. They've told you. You've done it. There's a little bit of obligation there, okay? I'm not saying it guarantees you a job, but it's definitely going to put you at the top of that stack. 